Happy Valentine's Day. Welcome to Unity Spiritual Center. I'm Reverend Sharon Ketchum and with me is Winnelly Zeeb. Hi, Winnelly. Hello, Reverend Sharon. I think today we do the hearts to everybody, right? Yes. Send our virtual hearts out. Uh, mm. Celebrate the love together. Well, here at Unity, we each have a mission statement to spiritually awaken to our oneness with God, with each other, and with all creation. And we hold a collective vision of seeing a world powerfully transformed to the growing movement of shared spiritual awakening. And we know shared is such a key word here that it's not we have to find the right answer, the right path, but it's really to honor the path that we're on and to honor the path other people are on, each of them perfect and unique for us. So we're going to begin with an ecumenical prayer as we affirm together. The enlightenment of the Buddha shines within us. The compassion of the Christ moves through us. The power of Jehovah strengthens and guards us. The presence of Allah surrounds and guides us. Wherever we are, the Tao is, and all is God. A little time for a little Valentine's hug. Uh, and look what I brought. Oh, you have a hug heart. I love it. Oh, yes. I can just feel those hugs coming my way. <laughs> And we all know we've got to honor ourselves. We need to love ourselves so that we can love others. Uh, and will we all practice that for those days that it'll be safe to do this again? <sighs> feel the love, feel the love. So the God bucket, Valentine's Day. So did you get a Valentine from God? I did. Here okay. comes. Surprise. <laughs> yeah, surprise. Sort of like this. Surprise. Actually, it was like this. I, I was going through my day and in my home, <laughs> alone, like Groundhog Day. And I, before I came to a Zoom, I got this hit to go to my mailbox. And I went to my mailbox and I had a package. Oh, <gasps> surprise. Oh, that's and what it was? And do you know, no, but do you know that I see prize and surprise okay. with a Z, right? And yeah. it was a surprise of a, a woman that took one of my, she took my training on communication in 2014. Wow. And it was a thank you and a connection. And it Aww. had a couple gifts in it. And really the card and the connection was the gift of such a, of such a Valentine <laughs> of love of, you know, it, it, we just never know. Yeah, how, it's just floating how, out there and it shows up yeah. at the most unexpected time. And I was so grateful. I felt like it was a direct hit from God in the universe to remind me. As you say that, just reminds me, I had not gotten around to get Jessica a Christmas gift. And I ordered her a print from um, um, uh, Sky. Uh, he, he does the story people and Brian Andreas. And, um, and so I didn't even unwrap the box because they wrap things so beautifully and it's all earth care stuff in there. And, and so when she opened it, there was also a card in there for me. So I get this oh. gift. She goes back. She goes, here, this part's for you. So no surprise. We get Valentine's all the time, don't we? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to send this back over to you with mine. Okay. Um, okay. All yeah. right. I got it. I got it. And it's farther now that we're. I know. It's great, though. Yours is Glimpse of Beauty. Yeah, just, you know, this morning I was out in the car and the sun was shining through and this cold temperature, which is not my favorite, um, but the, all the snow was around the tree branches and it was just this, uh, uh. you know, the beauty. And I just, ah, you know, sometimes you really see it and it just takes your breath away. Yeah, Sparkling. So, ah, just, and yeah, it just beautiful, just beautiful. And this is always a special day for me because it's the 28th anniversary of my first day at Unity. Happy Valentine's anniversary. Day. Thank you. Thank you. And normally I give out chocolates to everybody, but unfortunately it's hard to do through here. So 
Everybody go find a piece of chocolate and pretend it's from me. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. Awesome. I look forward to it. Oh, okay. Well, let's, uh, well, let's love in our heart and go on. And just take that love to bless our neighbors, whether they're near or far. We pray with understanding and compassion in our hearts, knowing that divine light always shines even in the darkest moments. We bless our medical community and our essential workers, all who are devoted to serving others in our times of need. We bless those in grief, whatever their loss, knowing that God is their strength. We lift our gaze to remember our shared humanity, our unity, Centered in God's divine presence within, we know the truth for each person in our neighborhood and on this planet. We are guided by wisdom arising in love as we act in ways that foster peace and wholeness for all. And so it is. Amen. Oh, our daily word. I'm going to take this. Yes, our daily word. For today is heart huh, expression. Inspired by Jesus' words in the Gospel of John, I give you a new commandment that you love one another. Just as I have loved you, you also should love one another. Shared love is a wonderful way of discovering and responding to the divinity alive in every heart, binding us as a human family. Our loving nature helps us to see the very best in every person whose life touches ours. Today we remember one of the legends of Saint Valentine in which he fashioned pieces of parchment into hearts, which he gave to others as tokens of his compassion and God's love. Today, the tradition continues when we say, you are dear to me. I hold you in my heart with a card, gift, call, or a simple act of kindness. We share love with no expectation of reciprocity reciprocation <laughs> hope I said that right reciprocation and, yeah. okay. and our hearts welcome every expression of love from others love's energy grows through both giving and receiving yes let us affirm together you are dear to me I hold you in my heart thank you and you're dear to me <laughs> you're dear to me Let's just take a moment to bless this collective consciousness that we call Unity Spiritual Center of Lansing, of which means you and me, all of you. Unity Spiritual Center of Lansing embraces its journey of spiritual growth. We bless our time wandering in the wilderness. We give thanks that each door that closed to us redirected our attention to a door opening for us. We are right now living as a greater expression of love, a force for good in our neighborhood and in our lives. We are receptive to the handprint of God guiding us to a greater blessing, a field of unlimited possibilities, a promised land for us collective and individually. And so it is, Allah, Shalom, Amen, Namaste. Oh, our core value. Yes, our unity core value we're focusing on this month is integrity. In honor of Valentine's Day, we look at integrity in love. The love we celebrate on Valentine's Day may have a variety of expressions, but no matter if it is, a, if it is love of a family, a spouse, a friend, a pet, or a community. The most important thing is the integrity with which we express that love. We send a card, not out of duty, but out of a deep sense of caring. We share a meal out of a true yearning to connect. We may gift someone not 
because we expect something in return, but because the truth of our love is calling for us to express it. Together, let our love be pure and unconditional. Today, let our love be an authentic expression of our oneness. Let's affirm our integrity statement together. We apply unity principles by making and keeping our agreements in loving thought, word, and action. Thank you. And just an update on, on unity and on our new campus here. You know, we've never closed, but we weren't we didn't have that physical uh, capability. So the building is open to visits and to volunteers. There's a lot of just a zillion little things to be done as with any home, spiritual or our, our, our normal home or regular homes. Um, just do suggest you call first because schedules are kind of wonky and stuff. Just making sure somebody's here. I'd love for you to come and wander and um, just make yourself comfortable in your new home. And then also, we are tentatively planning for an in-person service April 4th on Easter, whether it's inside or outside, but this is always dependent on the COVID safety guidelines right now. You know, all systems will go, but it's we still got uh, you know, six more weeks to go. So everybody behave, wear your mask, stay socially distanced. Also, we're waiting for a final approval by Dell High Township, kind of the inspection thing and capacity thing for holding church services here. So we are holding it open for that wonderful possibility that we could see each other in person if you're comfortable. And some people aren't comfortable yet, and that's okay too. And we'll be online. So we will just do this together bit by bit, whatever way we can find that is safe and comfortable and uh, yeah, just connecting. Uh, prayer Circle is on again virtually on Wednesday night. So if you have any prayer requests, great place to uh, to share them and get our prayer team praying with you. You can even go onto our website and there's a place there where you can put in a prayer request. And of course, we have other classes going on. Check out our website. And with that, I'd like to turn it over to you, Winna Lee. Uh, in Beauty May I Walk, I love that song. Do you want to warm up the band? I will. Here they come. Such a good band. In beauty may I walk all day long may I walk through the seasons may I walk may I walk in peace may I walk in
That's the way to walk. That is the way to walk in beauty, joy, and peace. Thank you so much. What a perfect piece of music for today. What a Valentine gift for us all. I so appreciate that. Hugs, <laughs> the hugging heart. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to have to borrow that. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so just as we sign out here, uh, Unity is on demand. So you can watch us in segments or binge watch us one after the other. And if you're watching us Sunday morning, 1030, we're doing a live fellowship time. Just bring your own coffee. God bless and have a great week.